Okay, so we just finished the belly burn challenge and you're probably wondering, do I remain on the same supplement cycle? Well, the first thing I'm gonna tell you, and if you work with me, is that you just need to reverse engineer your supplements. So it's week four last week, go from week four to week three next week, then go to week two, then go to week one. So after you've gone through that entire cycle, that's gonna give your body the opportunity to continue to burn calories because 28 days is great, but back when we started these challenges, we used to actually run them for 12 weeks. And so I would like to see you on at least an eight week cycle of these supplements so that in and around that fifth and sixth week, man, your body is burning tons of fat. And now that you're adding these calories back in you, you're now building muscle. So continue with the supplement cycle, just reverse engineer it. Now, after you've done a full seven weeks, so your four weeks in the belly burn, and then the three weeks of the reverse supplement cycle, you can stop taking lipos. So lipos are the ones that go into the, the fat cells and break it down into smaller particles so your body can use it as fuel once you get your visceral fat under 7%. Now, some of you might already be under 7%, and I might have already put you on a lipo, and that's only because for one challenge, I really wanted to oxidize as much body fat as possible. Do you need to continuously stay on it? Not necessary. Could you ever go back on it? Yes, if your coach tells you to. Number two is leaner. Like leaner is a supplement that you could literally take every day. The biggest thing that's in there would be like 160 milligrams of caffeine, which is just under a cup of coffee. And then there's 300 milligrams of green tea, which is about three cups of tea all combined, right? So leaner is great for energy. You can take it even on a Sunday. You could take first thing in the morning to just kind of like give you that pick me up. Can give you midday if you've got errands or you got to bring your kids to swimming or whatever it is. We got to understand that leaner is great for energy. It's all natural. It helps burn fat as fuel and it's also going to help you to control your hunger. So if you're still looking to drop weight or drop body fat, then you continuously take your leaner. Now Effie's, some people take take time on, some people take time off. The research on it shows that it's more effective over time, but I would tell you to start scaling those down, right? So if you're taking, let's say three a day, then you know week two, you go down to two, week one, you go down to one, maybe you take a week off and then you ramp back up. So one, one week, two, the second week, three, the third week, you ramp up, you ramp kind of down. So that's if you want that extra boost and the research out there shows that Effie's does make body fat the primary fuel source so there's no reason why you would not want to continuously take that even after a belly burn challenge unless your doctor advises you differently. The fourth thing that you can take is pre-workout. Now that we're not so much focused on the fasting element of it, you can start using pre-workout to help fuel your workouts and help you lift more weight. So now you're adding these calories back in you. Why not take this? Like I love pre-workout. Like pre-workout to me is better than leaner and Effie's combined when it comes to like getting that boost for the workout. I just get a major crash element from it. But a lot of people don't. A lot of people thrive on pre-workout. So we have pre-workout at the gym. They taste fantastic. And you take it about 15, 20 minutes with just like some water. It tastes great. And it's gonna give you this crazy rush. So you're just gonna be like lifting and pounding the heavy weights. It's gonna push you harder than you've ever been pushed before. And like I said, in a fast, we're fo or in a challenge, we're focusing on fasting. So a lot of you work out in the morning. So I don't want you taking pre-workout because you've watched my pre -video previous videos and you guys have seen that the artificial sweeteners can and will break your fast. So it's gonna take you out of your fat burning mode. But now that you're more focused on your calories going up, we don't have to so much focus on the fasting and you can take the pre-work to help you lift so that you can build more muscle. When it comes to protein, protein never stops, right? Like in fact, I would tell you to start and end your day with a protein shake no matter what. And if you're a busy, let's say you're a realtor or your contractor or whatever, you're a nurse, it's great to have this powder ready to go because it's going to increase your protein numbers. Protein should still be your biggest, if like your biggest macro when it comes to your eating plan. So always eat more protein than your carbohydrates and fats. And so protein powder is a great, quick and convenient, all natural way that you're able to get your protein numbers up so that you can build and repair new muscles. Now EAAs, for me, I love it because it helps me fill the gap between eating and it gives me that sweet taste that I crave midday. So instead of having another tea, which there is some like fat burning benefits to it, the EAAs are like drinking protein powder, but without the calories. So it's gonna help to rebuild and repair my muscles 
but most importantly, it tastes great. So for you, you can have like one or two EAAs. I would recommend for you to have a scoop of EAAs over having like a Zevia or a Bubbly or a Diet Coke, like do the EAAs because there's nutrients in there that's gonna help to grow your muscles and they absolutely taste great. So you're asking me what supplements should you take after the belly burn challenge? We wanna make sure that we're, we're rescaling. So we're going from week four down to week one and then we're gonna lean off the FEs. We can start the protein or start the pre-workout, continue with your protein, continue with your EAAs, leaner if you need a little bit of boost and fat burning and FEs if you need the same.